Now I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings.
So, later then. Hmm. See you later. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. Silver. Gold clashes with my complexion, you should know that. Fast asleep. Ceres disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Mm. Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruce lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her? I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true, but you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame, but this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in the circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think?
take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Sorry's not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety, appendices included. No, please! I'd rather clean the stables! End of discussion. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. This a Witcher school or an Elven? <laughs> Maybe if you fall. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. Vesemir's got that look. What did you expect? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals, or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. 
find that helmet. Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wildlands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere, or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm, at least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Will it be near Vizima? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn?
stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. Certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. 